If you want to generate beautiful art in Midjourney, the seed parameter solves two very simple but very common problems. In Midjourney, often you're generating an image. Take this, the view of a volcano through the window of a train. And you like the concept, so you want to keep generating artworks like that one. Hopefully, you can actually make it better. So you're off to the races. You try generating a photograph of a volcano through the window of a train. And that seemed to improve it. but. Now you want to be zoomed out a bit. That way you'll see more of the train car. So you try a cinematic photograph of a volcano taken while in the dining car of a passenger train. Okay, that's looking cool. Then you generate it again to get a few more results. But even with the same exact command, this time it's totally different and you're pretty sure you hate it now. So you ask yourself, was your prompt any good in the first place? Well, if you're like me, and you've been through that time and again in Midjourney, that is the first problem dash dash seed is going to solve for you. By default, Midjourney is designed so that your workflow is one prompt at a time. You generate one image, then start again from scratch. What you really want to do is work on images and improve them over time. The only built-in option for this is variations, and you've probably noticed that with the V4 model, variations of an image always seem to be worse than the original. They seem to always turn out corrupted or deformed or just bad. So you're back to the good old slash imagine. But if you don't know, the starting conditions used to generate an image from your prompt is randomized, which makes it impossible to predict what your image is going to be, even if you only changed your prompt a little tiny bit, or in the case of our volcano, you didn't change the prompt at all. This is especially frustrating if your prompt is simple. This is a cat wearing a funny bonnet. Since the domain of possible images for this prompt is more varied, you can generate the same thing over and over again and constantly get something extremely different. Different cats, different backgrounds, different bonnets. But by setting the seed, just by adding dash dash seed and a number, you do the amazing thing of making the outcome of a prompt deterministic. That means for all intents and purposes, the same prompt paired with the same seed will always generate the same result. Not only can you reliably compare one prompt with another, but you solve a second problem. And this is the true beauty of the seed parameter. It actually allows you to learn how different words affect your prompt. A cat wearing a funny bonnet, this time in winter. And you can see how selecting the season changes the image in mid-journey, but keeps the cat the same. So what if the bonnet wasn't funny and instead it was just a regular bonnet? Easy. What if it was a painting? Or a Polaroid? Or a cinematic photograph? This way you can actually see how the words you choose change the image, because mostly the image stays exactly the same. Dash Dash Seed is the power to set the starting conditions for your image, which gives you a finely tuned control over the outcome and enables you to truly learn this software. If you want to learn how much changing the style changes the image, you can do that just by trying some options. You can also find out that by mentioning a color, you'll affect much more of the image than you expect. Colors are extremely important to the foundation of an image in Midjourney. Dash Dash Seed is a chance to explore the latent space of Midjourney generations without randomly being teleported from one path onto another. That opportunity will make you a better prompt engineer, it'll let you generate better art, and it'll help you appreciate the work behind some of the best AI-generated images on this site. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.